The following review has been approved by the Best of Classic Game Room Special Edition Laser Hypervision Album Set. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room Broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where it's time to battle boulders, stab alligators, and save your girlfriend before she's turned into soup. It's time for Jungle Hunt on Atari Computer. Murdered by alligators once again, but I look at this positively. I'm not just losing the game. I'm feeding the alligators. In Taito's 1982 arcade game, Jungle Hunt, seen here on the Atari computer. Atari XEGS, specifically. Not too long ago, I reviewed Jungle Hunt for the Atari 5200, and this is, as far as I can tell, the exact same game, except it looks a whole lot better, and plays better, too. It plays better because I'm using the Sega Genesis gamepad instead of the dreadful Atari 5200 controller. And that's like two polar opposites. That's like upgrading from somebody stabbing you to somebody feeding you a nice hot slice of pepperoni pizza. Although I think it's still preferable to just avoid the alligators. They're, they're really hard to stab in the face un underwater. Anyway, if for some reason you've never played Jungle Hunt, you go through a vine swinging scene, alligator dodging or stabbing scene, boulder jumping, and then... Avoiding savages as you save your girlfriend from being boiled alive. But, are you not taking dinner away from the savages and disrupting the circle of life? Nobody ever thinks about them. Jungle Hunt is a selfish game. And you're a bad person for playing it, unless you're playing it on the Atari computer. Good music, but they never really explain how he gets out of this situation here. So he's hanging onto his girlfriend who's being held over a boiling pot of water while the savages are still there. Is there like a crossover with Choplifter here I'm not aware of? Is he rescued? Does Super Joe come in and save the day? Whoop, be careful with that button. The Sega Genesis controller is so much fun to use, it's easy to just push the button more than you need to. So, you swing on vines and uh, dodge alligators and save your girlfriend. That's Jungle Hunt. Frankly, it's not one of my favorite games, but I love the Atari XE computer, which does a tremendous job of delivering the arcade experience. Jungle Hunt! Far better than the Atari 5200, which is just a clumsy yet strangely likable game system. Like, if, if you're eyeing up buying an old Atari other than the 2600, if you're looking at the 5200, which has a great game library, buy an Atari XE. It costs more money, but it's a thousand times better. And has roughly the same collection of games. Compare this to the Atari 5200 version of Jungle Hunt, and you'll spot the difference right away. I've reviewed both, but I love the beautiful video output that the Atari XE delivers, and it sounds really good, too. Also, controller flexibility is important to me. Anything that allows me to avoid the 5200 joystick is a good thing. But for what it's worth, the game still plays pretty much the same. I, I usually died in the same spot in the end, and eventually got bored right around the same time. Jungle Hunt is, is okay. There's better games. I'd rather play Pac-Man. Regardless of what you play this on, the pain of jumping over boulders is still present, especially that damned end boss boulder, which squashes me in the head. So, my recommendation is pass on Jungle Hunt unless you really love it and, and save your money for Beam Rider on the Atari XE. Trust me, that's a better game. Now I am in the radioactive level, otherwise known as New Jersey! Oh.